And this project we have is six cache. First, we need to create a table and create a model, controller, view, and create an action. Okay? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to Join Coder. Today I will show you how to custom login in Laravel. Okay, I have a new project and I already configured into here. I use this link and and I have created the database custom login here. And let me check. Let me check my connection. Connect to this database. And this project we have a six cache. First, we need to create a table and create a model, controller, view, and create an action. Okay. So let's start to create a table. Okay. And let's check here. And the table, I need to copy from this. Okay, I will create the same. Okay, it will drop here. And okay, and next step we need to create model and controller. Okay, and let to check our model and our controller in here. Okay, let to close all of these. This one, another one. Yes, model. So after we have a model here, we need to create a table. So we need to migrate. This we add migrate. Okay. So I use DB ever for connect to my database, and we have a new user in here. So we don't have data, but we need to provide a protection for our table. So let me copy from other. Okay, need to import to case and our model. We need to extend from authenticate table. Okay, and this is our table name and the column that we need to protect and hide. Okay. So the next step is we need to, okay, after we complete, uh, create model and controllers, we need to create view for provide the action in here. So we, before create view, we need to our route, we need also need to register in our route. We need to, in our route, we need to import controller here and we start to use example. Now we put a user login. So I need to create a function in here. So the function, I need to have a folder and file here. I mean, I need to have a I need to have a file user login. So we need to create our view in here. In view, we need to create a user. And a file is user login dot let dot p3. And the file, I need to copy from the original here. Okay, and pass to here. And one more is I need to have a function in here, user registers. So I need to create the P3 and also need to copy from this one, pass into here and close other. Okay, so let's do test our view. I need to check in our right here I need to create one more thing is user register in here okay let to go back in here and I put in here okay and open our project here so in here it will redirect to our user lock our route a new route in here and other one register yeah lock to here Okay, so and 
and let to change of shoe into our register here to the right to our out here again. Okay, and the next step. Next step, we need to create action, register user and log in. Okay, so I need to register user in here. Put um, user underscore registers and call into here. And I need to have a function in our controllers. I need to have a function create a user. Okay, let me pass the code here. We need to have a new function. And for use DB here, we need to import a DB in here. And let me explain you here. It is a new table that we uh, want to custom and it need to check it is unique the email. Okay, before we create, we need to check it is the unique or already easy or not. Okay, so let's go back and Okay, I fill the tile ID and I put the password then create. Okay, now I was create, it's success or not, it returned to login but we can execute here. Okay, we have a, a new record into here and why it it did to login because of this one. When we ask complete we need to log in. So, in this case, our register already complete with a new table. And let's go to our form login. This login will not yet create any action. Even login here will not yet provide. So, we need to create a new route. Is I put a user access. Okay, and change here to boss. And I put the name here, user access. Okay. And let me copy the function and explain you step by step. In here, actually, we need to create a function in to here, and it is just checking to the table it already exists the email or not. And in this case, mean the user need to authentication. You need to have authentication. So in this case, you need to check gap. Okay. So our step when we are create here register and then user start login, we need to have one more step. We create a gap. Okay. And for use this, we need to import odd. Okay. One more. And how to create a gap name? I put a gap in here. The gap name. Also, you can change whatever, but. For get name here, we need to config into uh, odd here. Okay, we need to create a new. And example now, I start to create. So now I register, I register get in here. Okay, in this odd, and you can see it is admin and our table name, and our table name to our model and password and column. Yeah. Okay, and the password we just put a table and to our model. And if you want to change uh, guard name, you if you change here, you need to change all, and you need to change into here. Okay, and when uh, when we log in success, we need to return to admin home. Okay, so we need to create a new function. The new function I need to create a view is a view here need to create into this okay. and I put the name that it's like this okay so we need to provide a name here to our form login in here the route name we change from the login to user access and close other and then to go back and then refresh. Example now we have only one user and we test to log in. I put the one, two, three in here and password, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you will see the message in here. This message it get from our controller in here that we custom a message. Okay, let me 
click again yeah it will get from here and if I put correct email and incorrect password it will yeah cannot log in okay and let's do this again with correct password so home route admin home oh, okay sorry and I have a mistake in here it is to route yeah not to, to the function so I need to create a route here is I need to create a new route into here and where to keep last one is admin home and the flag again yeah let's log in again okay example now I want to use a register okay and I want to go back here register and put a join folder join folder password okay and register and then we copy here and fill password incorrect okay we cannot log in and we put here with correct password log in okay so I will log in with a new guard it successfully yeah we check into here and it will redirect into here okay now our step is complete we are create guard is completely so thank you for watching if you have any okay and if you have any problem or if you have any question please comment in the video below thank you bye